Johnny D here and welcome back. And today we're going to answer some viewer questions. I've gotten a lot of questions and comments on the uh, Montec Air 100 ARGB. Uh, specifically, my fans aren't turning. Uh, I've had a few that the RGB isn't working. Instead of trying to respond to everybody, I just do a quick video because obviously a lot of people are having the same issues. So here we have the Montec Air 100 ARGB. I have the motherboard installed. I have the power supply installed. We have the 24 pin hooked up and we have the CPU power hooked up as well. I ran the 1 8 pin to the front just to get it out of the way. That's going to be for the graphics card. And now we'll just spin around the back. Take a look at the back of this. Get these out of the way. All right. Let's deal with all this stuff over here. Now I'm starting from scratch, nothing's plugged in. You have this one cable from the ARGB hub. Now, step one is two black cables from your rear fan. One as ARGB, the bigger one. The smaller one controls the fan. The smaller one has to be hooked to the motherboard. This one needs to be hooked to the ARGB hub, like so. That's one, okay? So over here, you have three more fans, which means you should have three fan connectors. Over here, you'll have three ARGB connectors, like so. And you'll have three fan connectors. All right, just stay with me. I know this, this is a little confusion. So let's hook up these to the ARGB hub, the three ARGB connectors. And it's going to look something like this. Okay. So... Now we have one, two, three, four AG ARGB connectors. We have four fans. Makes sense, right? So now, over here, we have three fan connectors. Over here, we have another fan connector. So four fans, four fan connectors. The case should come with something that looks a little something like this. All right. This is a three-way, this is a four-way splitter, actually. So what we want to do is take each fan and plug it in to one of these splitters. Doesn't matter. Because they're all going to be working, including the rear fan. You're going to plug into this splitter. And there you have it. So now all four fans are going to be run off the motherboard off this one pin. So this needs to be attached to the motherboard. So let's go ahead and feed that through to the front. So on this particular motherboard is really two, two spots. We can go with the CPU option fan. Or we have one fan header right behind the 24 pin. I'm going to connect this fan header to the 24 pin. Depending on your motherboard, you may have one down here. You may have a couple over here. You may have one over here. Wherever. doesn't matter uh, as long as it's an empty fan. So notice this is three pins and this is four pins. It's okay. This has a little clip on it right here. As long as that fits down the clip, you're good. So you only need three for the power. And there you have it. The fans are hooked to the motherboard. Now you can go ahead and pull all this extra, extra stuff in here. All right. So now your ARGB is hooked up and your fans are hooked up. A couple other things here. All right. So. We have two more cables, two more cables 
running down. This needs to be plugged into your power supply, so you need some SATA power. Now this ARGB header needs to be hooked to the motherboard if you want to be able to control the lights from your motherboard. You don't have to, you're not interested, um, but you can. So let's say you want to, so we're gonna go ahead and feed this through to the front. And we'll come back to that in a minute. This needs to be hooked up to SATA power. So I happen to have one right here. We're going to hook that up to the power supply and tuck that away. All right. Get all that out of the way. Now, if you notice, we have one more pin that we need to hook up. Now, mind you, all this should have been pre-assembled, but I'm just taking you through from the beginning. So we need to put the reset button to here. So, if you look here, we have power supply, we have power LED, we have HD LED, and we have power LED negative, and then we have reset switch. So this, re this reset switch needs to be hooked up to here. And this, as you all know, needs to be hooked up to the front of the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and feed these through. Um, and I'll go ahead and feed all this through too. Your, your USBs, your HD audio, and your, your power, and all that wonderful stuff. So I'll go ahead and feed that through. So let's start off with the... ARGB input. Now this was hanging from the bottom of the hub. So we just need to put this to any three pin. We got one up here, two up here, and we have one down there. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to put it up here. There, that's simple. This goes here. Now mind you, your motherboard might differ, but it only fits in one spot. Over here we have the audio. HD audio is usually on the bottom left of the motherboard. It should be USB right here. That's done. You have your audio, USB. Now, your front power supply. So if you count one, two, three, going from left to right. The third one is usually the power. So let's go ahead and connect that. One, two, three. Power. Now we have uh, HD LED. You're gonna put that in the second one or the first one. It actually really doesn't matter. And then you have Power LED positive and negative, doesn't matter. You're gonna put that in the first one, top or bottom, doesn't matter. One, two, and there you have it. That's all your connections. So, what we will do is just pull any extra through to the back, extra through to the back, Done this right, we should get power. And there you have it, folks. Now the reset button will control your colors. And there you have it. So, um, there you have it. Uh, 
problems answered. Hopefully this helped you all out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, with that said, if you like what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up. If you really like what I'm doing, you should subscribe so you get notified when I create cool content. And with that said, you all have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye now.